What is up YouTube? It's Kingfisher745 and welcome to your daily dose of doom. For today's task, you must defeat three escaped prisoners. And you can find these in Season 1, Chapter 4, Mission 1. So we're going to head over to Season 1, Chapter 4. And I'm going to show you a team that's not very good together, but I do have a reason for using them. Oh, and in case you were wondering, this mission is titled Jailbreak. And it has this picture right here, so we're going to click on that and go into challenge mode. So like I was saying, this team's not very good together because the one counteracts the other. But the reason I'm using them is very specific. Looking at the new Spec Ops character, Nico, there's been talks of how she looks pretty powerful. And some people have actually cried to nerf her already. But just like with most cases, there's always a counter. For a starter, she is a blaster, so you could use all tacticians and just have a full tactician team. But there are also these two characters right here. First, Dr. Voodoo grants all allies magic warding. And we'll take a look at that shield after it activates at the start of combat. And then next, there is Damon Hellstrom. And Damon Hellstrom may be someone you forgot about. But he does have that netheranium spire. It's a built-in passive that has a 50% chance to nullify magic attacks against all allies. Not only that, it's going to restore stamina and give him burning and dark void after he nullifies a magic attack. And I actually used him quite a bit even last season, at least on my lower level account. Because for one, the mystic is a magic attack. And he nullified it quite a bit, let me tell you. So even though it's kind of early to start thinking about Nico, I still wanted to point out and use these two characters just to show you there's always counters and there's ways to stop virtually any character in this game. But let me repeat, this is a terrible team together. First off, that shield that I talked about is going to stop Damon Hellstrom from buffing himself with things like Dark Void. So that's one of the main reasons you don't want to use them together. But I also wouldn't recommend using two blasters. But in just a moment, I'm going to show you exactly what that shield does. So this is from Dr. Voodoo's passive. It's going to give you magic warding. Immune to harmful magic effects. And you also take reduced damage from magic attacks. Or if you just use Damon Hellstrom instead of Dr. Voodoo, he's going to take reduced damage from damage over time effects. And also, of course, has that netheranium spire. So either hero is a great choice against other magic users. Another thing I really like about Damon is Cloaked in Shadows. And that's because of Skittering Darkness. 50% chance to avoid attacks. And attacks become stealthy. That's just an incredible buff. And if they can't remove it, they're really in trouble. Another thing to think about when it comes to Nico is the fact that she will have bleeding stacks on her. Yes, she is supposed to reduce bleeding damage, but even if she significantly reduces it, you could use a character like Sabretooth. If you attack her with Sabretooth, you could easily gain Blood Rage. So basically, facing her will give him access to his major damage potential, even earlier in combat. And these are just some early ideas. There's probably plenty more counters out there. So there's no need for nerf threads or any talk like that. I mean, she's not even out yet, so it's kind of crazy to begin with. Oh, but check out Damon. He still has his skittering darkness, but magic warding has kept Dark Void off of him. So even though I think it's counterproductive, you could use these two together. You would still have Damon Hellstrom for his skittering darkness and his level 9 heal. So that would be a pretty good support character if you didn't like dots on him. But for myself, I'll probably never use these two together again. This was a one-time thing. Now with Damon, we're going to use his summon attack and hopefully mind control these enemies. I always think it's pretty funny when the enemy protects you. Then with my agent, we're going to use close the gap and we'll get a double attack against one of these instigators. So I'll just go ahead and attack the top target with the axe and then we'll follow it up with a brawl. And lastly, with Dr. Voodoo, I'll use this level 9, and we're going to place it on my agent. So my agent will gain two turns to try to finish the last instigator. First, I'll use the axe to try the one-shot him, 
but if it doesn't make it, we can use pretty much anything to finish him. Alright, so he only has 199 HP left, so we'll use the Wrist Slinger, since it's the only thing we have enough stamina to cast. And that's going to be it for this battle. So now we're going to go ahead and collect our 5 impending lockboxes, and that's going to be the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it helped. I would like to thank you all for watching, and ask you to please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, good luck, and take care.